I picked up this set of drawers from Roadside Hard Rubbish. And with a bit of a clean up and a coat of paint, I think it's looking pretty slick. Now you might notice that I've actually left some of the areas in the natural wood color. And that's because I masked them off when I did the painting. I did that because I like this two-toned effect. But of course, you can just paint them however you like. Now to really make the timber part stand out, I've used a bit of furniture polish. Before I go planting the succulents, I'm going to use a clear sealant to seal all the drawers. And now for a space for the succulents to sit. I'm going to line each drawer with builder's plastic that I'll staple onto the sides to help hold it in place. Each drawer is going to sit slightly ajar and this will let the succulents really shine. You could of course use a screw to lock the drawers off, but I'm not going to bother. And if you find that the drawers are top heavy because you've got them open, you could always add a sandbag or an old gym weight on the lower drawers to help stabilise it. But this one's fine. Now because I'm not adding in drainage holes, I'm going to add a one centimetre layer of pebbles to the base of each drawer before adding in the potting mix and this will help drain off any excess water. I've got a great range of plants here from InStyle Succulents and even a few cuttings from my garden if I need to fill in a few gaps. How magical is this lace aloe with its delicate white speckles? I'm going to give it prime spot right here. And what's not to love about this sedum jelly beans? It will spread and spill over the side a little. Echeveria are stunning succulents and check out the contrasting scarlet tips on this one. Make sure you choose some succulents with a cascading habit. This is ruby necklace and it'll really cascade over the sides and soften the edges of the project. Of course, also look for succulents of different colours and shapes and textures. It'll really add a pop of interest to your project. The easiest way to water these is using a needleless syringe because you can direct just a small amount of water at each plant without disturbing the arrangement. Give your succulent drawers pride of place so you can admire them regularly. And somewhere like this veranda, so it's protected from the weather but still gets the sunshine that the succulents need, is perfect.